It's time to have a serious, honest look at putting. How many putts per round are you averaging? Oh, come on, for real. That's more like it. Now, would you like to see that number reduced? Of course you would. We all would, which is why today's focus here on the practice tee is to help us putt way better than you do right now. Stick around. <laughs> Hello friends, Bill Hobson here. Welcome inside the MGL Sim Studio. As we continue in our practice tee series, today we really want to save you some strokes on the greens. To do that, we have brought in the 2024 Michigan PGA Section Teacher of the Year from the Fortress Golf Club in Frankenmuth, my buddy Kyle Martin. We've done a couple of these together. We started with chipping, then we went to some better sequencing during iron swings. But in the end, when you go back and look at your scorecard at the end of a round, it's not that hard to figure out that five three putts is not serving us very well. That could be a big number on the scorecard. <laughs> yeah, so let's, <laughs> let's help everybody out a little bit. So what I want to talk about today is really kind of killing two birds with one stone, meaning we want to make sure that we can strike the ball in the center of the face. So much of your distance control that a lot of amateurs struggle with is related to not being able to hit the ball in the center of the face. You got to think hitting the ball in the center is just as important with a putter as it is with a driver. Mm. And most people never think about that. And all of a sudden we rack up three putts on the scorecard. We don't know why. And so much of it is based on where we're hitting it on the face. It's rare for a putter to show impact marks unless you've used it for a lot of years, right? Mm -hmm. You can see it on your driver face. It leaves a mark. You can see it on most of your irons. But on the putter, it's hard. So golfers, I think, by default, assume... I'm hitting everything. What are you talking about center of the face? I hit every putt on the center of the face. I have a line on there. We're, we're not that accurate. No, and so setting up some really simple exercises can give you the opportunity to evaluate that and see where am I really hitting it on the face because it can not only impact your distance control, if it's extreme heel or extreme toe, even with such a finite stroke, it'll have a big impact on your direction as well. Most often when I think about putting instruction, I'm thinking about having to make, literally make putts on a practice screen. You know, we've got mm -hmm. four holes here in the sim space, and I thought when you told me we were going to do putting, we would set up to one of the holes. That's not what this drill really is. So what are you doing with us today? Yeah, so my big thing is I want you to be able to do something. If you're on a golf trip, this is something you can do right in the hotel room. You can do it right at your house. If you have a flat surface, all you need is a coin or a ball marker and three golf balls and you can really start to see where you're hitting it on the face. This helps reinforce what Kyle told us back in week one of the uh, Lesson T series that pretty much everything you need to get better at golf you already possess, right? So it's quite likely that somewhere you have three golf balls. If you don't, we got, we got to back up a little bit to a more basic <laughs> introductory point and you probably have a quarter. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's essentially what we're doing to a ball marker today. So take us into the drill. Sure. So like I talked about, hitting the center of the face is such a big priority because it's not only your distance control, it's your direction. So all you need to do is put a coin out, or I have a Titleist ball marker out, about two and a half to maybe three feet out in front of you, which is a trouble distance for a lot of people. A lot yeah. of golfers really struggle from three feet, which is why they Give me. pick them up. <laughs> right. So that's good. That's oh, it's good. inside the leather. It's inside <laughs> the grip, but it's good. So what you want to do is you want to take your center ball and you want to put your putter down right behind that. And you want to take your two other golf balls and literally just put them right outside the toe and the heel. You'll see there was a guy on tour that does this before every round. He's a pretty good putter. Tiger Woods uh, puts tees down. familiar with his work. Yeah, he, everybody's kind of heard of him here and there. So uh, he, there, there's a reason why he does this right away when he gets on the putting green yeah. because he wants to be able to calibrate or get an idea of how fast the greens are when he's hitting the ball in the center of the face. And by the way, the, the width of the gates depend on the width of your putter. Some people are using Correct. mailboxes for putters and some are using... <laughs> Very tiny, uh, very tiny, very narrow putters. However, just a little word of admonition to you all. Don't cheat yourself. 
Right. It's super easy to set up the gate to be really, really forgiving. Mm -hmm. You could put these things nine inches apart and never hit them. Right. But then you'd be reinforcing the issues that, that you're already struggling with. So sorry to interrupt you, but I, as one who often thinks about ways that I can maybe still have that chocolate cookie <laughs> when I'm not supposed to and I'll pass it off as something else, I know that golfers are tempted to take shortcuts. And if you do that in this game, you do it at your own uh, at your own peril, so to speak. Right. If we if we set this up wrong, it's your own fault. If we set it up too easy, and you don't see the performance change on the on the putting green, it's your own fault. Yeah. Right. The harder you make it, the more successful and consistent you're going to be under the gun when you're trying to uh, play well, either with your buddies, by yourself, or in a tournament. So all we need to do is get that putter set up. We want to try and aim that sight line on that putter as close to that Titleist ball marker, that coin, as possible, and simply hit some putts. If we're swinging and we're hitting that coin, we know there's two things happening. We're obviously hitting the center of the face because we're in between the gates. I didn't hit either ball on either side, and the ball rolled over that coin in 80%. 80 to 90% of putting is all face control, but it's twofold. It's not only the direction, it's where you hit it on the face. Um, and in this drill, we're not concerned with stopping the ball on the marker. We're just go trying to roll right over it. Correct. Uh, this is to get us in the premium impact spot. Uh, there are some cameras, I've been on some cameras before that are, I look at that, I missed it, that are 5,000 frames per second. Mm -hmm. And I've been able to see in almost science fiction horror film, like <laughs> how far off center I can be at times with putter. Now I have that too far away because I have a narrower putter than you've been using. Yeah, the video can reveal almost too much. Oh, Sometimes people don't want to see what it looks like. Yeah, it really can be terrifying. All right, Kyle, I keep missing the marker, so I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, so we just have some face change here. We're just struggling to control that start line for that putter. There you go. A little bit better. So this simple practice, this simple drill can go a long way in terms of understanding where the putter face has to point. Because when you're putting and when I'm working with students, oftentimes I'll say, let's, let's try and find a point within a foot of your golf ball that's on your intended start line, where you want to start that ball. Yeah. And can we roll it over that? It's a very simple drill, very simple evaluation or test to see Am I controlling the face well, or am I not? At the highest levels of the game, we, off, we talk about how everybody's a really good ball striker. At the highest levels of the game, are all of these guys and all these ladies hitting the sweet spot on the putter 100% of the time? Just about, yeah. And that's why their distance control, not only with putting, but with everything else, is so strong. If we think about uh, hearing caddy player conversations yeah. they'll get in disagreements about three to five yards because if they're hitting the ball in the center of the face the ball's going to go the same speed for the most part every time and so if we look at let's say tiger's putter if we look at scotty scheffler's putter he's hitting it in the center of the face every time there's a wear point on that putter which is a testament to how often he hits that you know you said everybody's already possessing the things they need to get better at this game. And with three balls and a coin out front, you can immediately tell what you're struggling with. If you're gonna start your putts offline from two and a half feet, they're not going to find your target at 20 feet. Yeah, I mean, for it to, unless you get lucky. To give a, a <laughs> statistic, a you know, at 10 feet, if you're one degree off, either closed or open, yeah. you're completely missing the cut. You have zero shot at making that feet. putt from 10 feet. If you're a degree off, that ball is not even glancing that, that cup, which is just over four inches wide. So you've got to give yourself an advantage by controlling that start line. That way, all you need to worry about is pace. All right, friends, set up the gate drill. Do it in your garage. Do it in your house. Do it at your club where you can get out on the practice screen. And you don't need distance. You need accuracy. Uh, thanks for the tip, Kyle. If there's anything you'd like us to address in future weeks here on the Practice Tee, just put them in the comments below. And if we end up producing a video based on your input, we've got a little something that we'll send your way. So thanks for watching. 
Now get practicing because we all need to take fewer putts per round. Everybody except for a guy named Scheffler needs to take right. fewer putts per round. See you next time.